Hello everyone. And welcome back to the Puzzle Game channel. Today, we're diving into a key strategy for solving Sudoku puzzles. Finding hidden singles, pairs, triples, and even quadruples. Have you ever wondered what the difference is between a naked pair and a hidden pair? Or maybe you've heard of naked triples and hidden triples, but weren't quite sure what sets them apart. And what about those elusive quadruples or even quintuples? Well, good news. These are actually amazingly simple strategies that can seriously level up your Sudoku solving game. Once you understand how they work, solving even the trickiest puzzles will feel a lot more manageable. But before we get into pairs, triples, or quadruples, let's start with the basics. Let's take a look at the single and explore the difference between a naked single and a hidden single. Once you've got that down, Understanding the rest pairs, triples, and beyond becomes much easier. So let's jump in. If you want to try these techniques for yourself, you can visit the New York Times website to play Sudoku. They offer three difficulty levels. Easy, medium, and hard. So you can pick one that matches your current skill level or challenge yourself with a tougher puzzle. There's also a feature called Auto Candidate Mode, which automatically shows all the possible candidates in each empty box. While that might sound helpful, I actually don't recommend using it. At least not at first. Why? Because part of the fun and challenge of Sudoku is figuring out those candidates yourself. When you rely on auto mode, it can take away the core puzzle solving experience. And that's where all the learning and satisfaction happen. So give it a go without the training wheels. You'll get better with each puzzle. And it's way more rewarding. All right. So let's look at an example to understand the difference between a naked single and a hidden single. Here is a naked single as you can see and once we fill in all the possible candidates for each cell. The one here in this cell is all by its lonesome self. What this means is that this cell can only be in one, and there is no other candidate for this cell only the one we can see that very easily. And that is why it is called a naked single. Take a close look. The number one already appears in column one which means one cannot be placed in any cell of box 7 that lies in column 1. Then, we see that one also appears in column 2. So we can eliminate all positions in box 7 that fall under column 2 as well. As a result, there's only one cell left in box 7 where the number 1 can go. Okay, so I think we understand the term naked as it applies to a naked single. So now what about the term hidden as it applies to a hidden single? And let's see what a hidden single is. Let's take a look at block 8. This cell it has the candidates 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9. So there isn't a naked single here as we had with the 7. So here the thinking is just the opposite it's not the only candidate for a cell. Because clearly there are 5 candidates for this cell. But rather a hidden single is when it's the only place that a candidate can go. And in this case this is the only place a 1 can go in both this column. Column 6. And it's also the only place a 1 can go in the block. Block 8 and also the row. Row 7. So although there are other posses in this cell. The 9 being one of them. But there is nowhere else a 1 go in the column so it has to go here. This is called a hidden single. Because it is hidden amongst all the other candidates the 4, 5, 6 and 7. Let's look at the 9 more closely. And we can see. That because of all these ones. We can't have a 9 anywhere else in column 6. And when we look at the block 8. We can see that because of these ones. We also can't place a 1 anywhere else in the block. And the same is true for the row 7. You can see that. Because of these ones. The 9 can only go here. Sometimes, it's not so obvious with all 3 units the rows the columns and the block. And sometimes you'll just see it by looking at the column or just a block. But if a number can go into only one cell in a unit, that is a unit is a row column or block, then no matter how many other candidates there are for that unit it has to go into that cell. Now, that we've got a good grasp on singles, let's move on to pairs. Some people call them twins, but we'll stick with the term pairs. And that means that there are just two numbers instead of a single one. So here's an example of a naked pair. The 8 and 9 in row 7 are what I like to call a matching pair. But for the sake of consistency in this video, let's stick with the proper term, naked pair. 
There are no other numbers in these two cells. So they stand out very clearly. That's why we call them a naked pair. They're not hidden among other candidates. They're right there in the open. Since there are two numbers 8 and 9 and exactly two cells containing them. That means one of these cells must be an 8 and the other must be a 9. So, there can't be any other 8s or 9s in the same row. That means we can confidently eliminate that extra 8, 9 from the other cells. It's no longer a valid candidate. Now, this didn't help us place a number right away. And that's okay. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. But even just eliminating candidates helps move the puzzle forward. And gets us one step closer to the solution. We can also see a naked pair in block 8, do you see it? It's the same 89 pair, but in these two cells, and since the 8 and 9 have to be in one of those two cells, and block 8 then no other cell in the same block can be an 8 or 9, and we can eliminate this 8 and 9 and also this 9, and look at that we have a naked single here, the 3, and that means we can eliminate this 3, and now we have a naked single here, the 5, and that means we can eliminate this 5, and now we have a naked single here, the 7. Great, so now, that we know what a naked pair is, what is a hidden pair just like a hidden single, the hidden pair will be hidden amongst other candidates, in this next example take a look at block 8, can you spot a hidden pair in block 8, it's the 7, 9 in block 8, these two cells are the only cells in block 8, that can be a 7 or a 9, there are other candidates in those cells, but there's nowhere else the 7 or 9 can go in the block, it can't go in either of these two cells, because there's already a 7, and a 9, in the column 4, and it can't go into either of these two cells since there's already a 7 and a 9 in the same row 9, so the 7 and 9 must go into one of these two cells, this pair is called a hidden pair, because it's not so obvious like a naked pair, it's hiding amongst the other possible candidates, in this cell we also have a 1, 4, and 6, and in this cell there's a 2, and 4, but since these cells must be a 7, or 9, we can eliminate those other candidates, the 1, the 2, the 4, and the 6. By now, the difference between naked and hidden should be pretty clear. A naked candidate stands out, it's the only one in the cell, plain and obvious. A hidden number means there are other candidates in the same cell, so it's hiding among them. But it's the only cell where that number can actually go, and that's what makes it a hidden candidate. Now let's move on to triples, or triplets, as they're sometimes called. Don't worry, both terms mean the same thing. Just like how pairs or twins refer to two numbers, triples or triplets refer to a group of three numbers. A naked triple is when three cells in a unit, row, column, or box, contain only the same three candidates between them, and those candidates can't appear anywhere else in that unit. Okay, let's take a look at this example of a naked triple in block 5, do you see it, you're looking for three numbers split between three cells, the numbers 1, 4, and 5 make up the naked triple in block 5, we have three numbers 1, 4, and 5, and they are split between these three cells, which means these three cells must either be a 1, or a 4, or a 5, and then there can't be any other 1, 4, or 5 in the same block. So we can eliminate the 1 here, and the 1, 4, 5 here. Look, we have a naked single, this would be 2, if this is 2 then we will eliminate the 2 here, we will have a naked single, sure. This would be 8. Here's, another example of a naked triple, this time in block 4, do you see it, the 1, 7, and 9 are split between these 3 cells, as the only candidates for those cells, so they have to be in one of those 3 cells, and therefore there can't be any other 1, 7, or 9 in block 4 so we can eliminate this 7, and this 9. Look, we have a naked single, this would be 5, if this were 5 then we would eliminate the 5 here, we would have a naked single which would be 2, then we eliminate the 2 here, we would have a naked single which would be 3. One more example of a naked triple, and then I'll move on to hidden triples, and then I'll show you quadruplets, can you find the naked triple here in this example, this time it's in a column not a block take a look at column 7, do you see it, it's the 5, 6, 7, now do you see it, these three cells have only a 5, 6, and 7, 
and so those three numbers have to be split between those three cells, and therefore no other cells in. Column 7 can be a 5, 6, or a 7, so we can eliminate this 5, 6 here, and this 5, 6, 7 here, we have a naked single is 8, eliminate the number 8 here, we will have number 2. Now, I think you're ready for a hidden triple, right? Take a look at this example, can you find the triples that are hiding in block 4? It's the 5, 6, and 7 hiding in these 3 cells. Those 3 numbers are split between these 3 cells, and that means these 3 cells have to be either a 5, a 6, or an 7, and nothing else, so we can eliminate the 4 from this cell, and the 4 from this cell, and the 3 4 from here. Here, another example of a hidden triple can you find it, this time it's in a row, row 7, do you see the triple, it's the 1, 5, 7 split between these 3 cells, there are no other cells that can be a 1, 5 or 7 in the row, and that means these 3 cells have to be either a 1, a 5 or an 7, and nothing else, so we can eliminate the 2, 8 from this cell, and the 2, 9 from this cell, and the 2, 8, from here. Before moving on to quadruples, let's take a look at a special type of triple, this is a naked triple, but it's also called a lock triple as I'll explain in a minute, but first do you see the naked triple in this example, it's the 5, 6, 7 in row 2, what's so special about this naked triple is that aside from being in the same row, row 2, it's also in the same block, block 1 when a naked triple appears. In more than one unit, some people call them houses, then the naked triple is called a locked triple, this triple is in two units or houses, it's in the same row and the same block, a unit is a row, column or a block, so, this is in the same row and in the same block, so that means we can eliminate all the same numbers as a triple that's the 5, 6, and a 7, we can eliminate all those candidates from both the row and the block. So in row 2, it's the 5, 6, 7 split between these 3 cells, there are no other cells that can be a 5, 6 or 7 in the row, and that means these 3 cells have to be either a 5, a 6 or an 7 and nothing else, so we can eliminate the 2 from this cell, eliminate the 3 from this cell, eliminate the 2, 3 from this cell, eliminate the 5 from this cell, eliminate the 5 from this cell, but wait there's more in block 1, we can eliminate the 5 in this cell, eliminate the 7 in this cell, eliminate the 5 in this cell, eliminate the 5 in this cell. Are you ready to talk about quadruples, so that's the same as singles pairs and triples just with with 4 numbers obviously, let's start with an example of a naked quadruple, can you find it in this example, you're looking for 4 candidates restricted to 4 cells, and take a look at block 1 can you find the naked quad, it's the 2, 4, 5, and 6 and it's restricted to these 4 cells, just like with pairs, where you have 2 numbers limited to 2 cells, and with triples, where 3 numbers are limited to 3 cells, so with quadruples, it's the same idea, you have 4 candidates restricted to 4 cells, so there can't be any other 2, 4, 5, and 6 in the block only in these 4 cells. Which means we can eliminate this 4, 6 here. We can eliminate this 4, 5, 6 here and we have a naked single is 3, this is not the flashiest technique, but hey, in a tough puzzle, even a small cleanup can open up the whole grid, sometimes it's that one tiny elimination from a quadruple that unlocks a hidden pair or forces a placement. Which means we can eliminate okay, so now that we've seen a naked quadruple, are you ready for a hidden quadruple? Here's another example, can you find the hidden quad hint it's in block 3, it's the 1 3, 5 and 8 in these 4 cells, and notice there's a 7 in this cell but the 1, 3, 5 and 8 can only go into those 4 cells, so we can eliminate 7. These naked and hidden singles, pairs, triples, and quadruples are actually pretty easy to spot, once you know what you're looking for, and you'd be surprised how often they pop up in real puzzles. So keep an eye out for them. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, and more importantly, I hope you learned something that'll help you solve puzzles faster and with more confidence.